The damage along this winding country road is jaw-dropping. On Sunday, Sky Aid captured the devastation less than 24 hours after the tornado passed. By Monday, Carver Road was covered in several inches of snow, another cruel challenge for families already facing the most difficult moments of their lives. Their house was right over there in kind of that black dirt area. The family of Rodney Clark was here on Monday, seeing the spot right where he lost his powerful. life. It's the same place where Rodney's final heroic act saved the life of his wife. She called him inside, and my grandma Judy told me that she was trying to get him to uh, lay down first in the, uh, in the bathtub, but he laid on top of her and, like, held her close. Uh, and pretty much saved her life. Farther down Carver Road, the heartache is multiplied by four. Four members of the same family killed while hiding from the tornado in a pantry. Melissa Baisley died. Her husband Raymond survived. But three other members of the family died, including the couple's son-in-law, Michael Bolger, and his children, six-year-old Kinley and two-year-old Owen. Michael's wife Curie and their eight-year-old child Bryson survived. They were visiting their grandma from the Kansas City area. For us, it's just a unbelievable tragedy that, you know, half of her family has gone in an instant. Cecilia Lloyd is the final person who lost her life along Carver Road. Her husband, Tom, survived and was released from the hospital Thursday. Tom's family says that while his wife, Cecilia, is gone, her kind spirit lives on through him. He has been talking about how he... Um, just knows there's a purpose for him on this earth, that there's a reason he survived. So much tragedy along one short section of Country Road, a small section of land showing the deadly power of a tornado.